the number one financial mistake that people make is they simply don't plan for the future. And as a result of that, they really are not taking the concrete steps that they need to take today in order to make sure that their future is really successful. The real objective of a financial plan is to help them first just get organized and understand uh, where the, what their current financial situation is, what they're really trying to achieve. Just having that conversation is often a complete eye-opener for a lot of people. And an advisor, if, as part of a structured process, can be very effective at trying to make sure that you're taking the right actions. Putting all your money in a bank account is not the right action for, for uh, having a balanced approach to saving and investment. It, it's really kind of a, uh, a way of kind of centering your financial picture in the sense that it's a way of saying if something's changed, well, I can go back to this kind of roadmap and figure out what needs to change there in order to be successful at meeting my, my objectives and ultimately living a rewarding and rich life. Goals are a very important topic because, you know, most people think about the basic goals. I need some money for retirement. Or they often think about goals too late. I'm saddled with a bunch of debt. I need to pay this down. But then there's all sorts of goals that people just don't think about. A lot of people don't think about something could happen to me. We don't like to have that conversation. Having that conversation with an advisor not only teases out, there's a lot of those things that you don't necessarily think about, but it's a, now a setting that's a little bit more comfortable to talk about some of those things uh, because that's their job. The number one reason for divorce is actually arguing over money and that's often because a proper way of thinking about money and budgeting and expenses um, have often not been discussed ahead of time and, and often related to that is just what are your goals what is the husband and wife trying to achieve in terms of their goals they might have very different visions of how money should be saved, how much it should be saved, how it should be invested, and so forth. And sometimes the financial planning is the very first time they ever have that conversation about what they're trying to achieve regarding money. What makes Nestwise so unique in the marketplace is first, you are developing a real relationship with a financial advisor. It's not a call center. Rather, that advisor is really getting to know you, understand your goals and trying to understand what you're trying to achieve in life. And then from there, the uh, financial plan is actually developed and it's, um, it's written down, it's comprehensive. And one of the interesting things about Nestwise too, it's, it's very affordable. It's really financial planning for the middle class.